Welcome to Pet Allies Adoption Minute, sponsored by Sholo TV. I'm Jill Tinkle, and my little co-host is back. Hey, little Odie is back, and today our guest is Jennifer from Pet Allies. We've got a newbie. Don't worry about RJ. She's all good. She likes to send substitutes every once in a while. Yeah, and Jennifer, I don't know if you knew it, but Odie was out for a while. He was quite ill. So he missed his co-host uh, uh, spot for a while. Almost got replaced by his brother Baxter. <laughs> but seniority did count. And Odie was super excited about the results for the duck pluck, the rubber duck pluck, and he is a proud sponsor of that. So let's talk about that event. Well, the sponsors are so very important to this event. Every year we go to businesses with our hands out because it's so very important to our mission. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year, as you know. And the businesses were hit so hard last year, our, our hearts went out to them and still they came up to the plate. And they, and they followed through in every way, shape and form. I mean, we had State Farm, of course, you. Uh, you know, Safeway Foundation came through again. So happy for them. And you know, these, again, are organizations that are pushed to the max with everything going on. Oh, especially staffing, yes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We had reserve analyst software, we had designed cuisine. Wasn't that an awesome one? Yes. Oh my God, uh, freshly made meals to order. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna be following up with, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. Uh, Perkins Cinders always steps up they to the plate. They always do, yes. And Karen over at Perfect Paws. Yep. Awesome. You know, I know. And, and I know her business really suffered during the, the pandemic. And she's just amazing with those animals that come into the shelter that are just a wreck. She is. Just she a is. wreck. And just her time and talent that she puts in and turns that around and it makes it look like it's a boudoir pet now, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So it is just great. You know, and we, we also had Sears Hometown. Uh, they kicked in, and of course, Bluebird Studios. Yes, Bluebird Studios. Yes, they are under new management, by the way. Are they? Yes, they are recently. So, and that's they are also owned now by a company that does supports a lot of things in town. So, um, I know that was the prior owners, and this would be the new owners coming in, and I'm sure they will as well because they already support things around town. And I guess what we want to throw out to people is we don't want to just thank these these companies. We're telling you to use these companies Please. because these companies cannot continue to give back to the community without the support of the community. So when you're thinking of, you know, where do I buy, you know, my why won't my washer? You know, where do I buy a special gift, which the food would be great. <laughs> you know, where do I buy these things? We're asking you to think of these businesses in town. We need to get some t-shirts made up. Then you think of Little Bluebird Studio, which was bought by 145 Design, by the way. So 145 is here in Shola and Little Bluebird is in Pine Top Lakeside. And so if you need t-shirts, you think of them because again, not every business gives back to this community. And these that did, and we're thinking about the animals of the White Mountains, if you're an animal lover, which you must be because you're still listening to us, then we want you to please go and give your business to these businesses that supported pet allies. Absolutely, and you know, the more we keep it local, the more the local businesses can give back. Absolutely. Yes, can't do it without it. Now, I want you to talk a little bit. I am putting her on the spot here because we didn't talk. Um, do you have any idea what some of this money is going to go towards at Pet Allies? Oh, boy. It goes towards everything. I mean, from the vaccination a dog needs or a cat needs when they come in, to staffing, to new equipment, to even helping with some of the fundraising. I mean, we have lots of paper that needs to be printed. Mm -hmm. We have mailings that need to be done. And we have footwork that needs to be done. Oh yeah, and there's cleaning supplies, and I, yeah, and just the bills, you know, just the bills. And I'm sure we've got some more to pay off yet on the building. I mean, we did a really good job these first two years, but I'm sure we've still got some more things to pay off. I mean, every kennel was, was it $3,000 I think yep. it was? For each kennel was $3,000. Imagine that. And, and here I'm gonna put in a little plug. If there's any veterinarians or vets coming out of school you know, Santa really, really wants to give the shelter a new veterinarian. Yes. 
we would love to have you. <laughs> Absolutely. So maybe you came here and thought you were going to retire. Maybe not. We'd love to Give have you for a that. Few hours Ex a week. <laughs> exactly. And we'd love that. I want to thank you. You did a great job here on your first time um, on TV with us, and we appreciate that. And love that you're on the board for Pet Allies. Thank you for your time with that. You're it welcome. takes it takes all of us, you know, you to protect the animals that we have up here, and, and we love that. Yes. So Odie says he wants to really thank you for joining him on Sholo TV today for Pet Allies Adoption Minute and we sure hope to see you at the shelter. Right Odie? If you would like more information about the shelter, its monthly events, or to schedule an adoption outside of regular hours, please visit www.petalliesaz.org or call the shelter at 928-537-8009.